Kaczynski. I'm here today at Thunder Sky, Robert and Faith's show on Highway 127. Um, I'm pointing out today his, the work by his brother, Randy Fox McFaith, who's from Panama City, Florida. This is his interpretation of Highway 127. It's his fantasy journey on 127. Starts here in Florida, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Michigan. These are wonderful works of art, and Robert's work is incredible. You need to come out and check this out. It's at Thunder Sky in Northside. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you about a couple of the prints here. This one is depicts her uncle um, along I-27, and he went to a sale where he got a hat and a bicycle and sunglasses. And then this picture here is a story about her walking to school and seeing a bird, an emu actually, and um, it's kind of her ode to the emu about how the emu helped her feel a little less lonely. Thank you. on Route South uh, 127, which is what this art show is about uh, that Robert is holding here. So please come out and support them. Uh, you know, Lauren actually did want to make sure that if, um, if and when this gets purchased, that it brings joy and happiness uh, to that person whenever they look at it. So please visit. Well, we need to recognize the signs and we need to understand the symbols. Hi, I'm Robert McVeigh and it's my pleasure to talk a little bit about Glencoe, Kentucky and my friend, photographer and artist, David Earl Johnson. Uh, the yard sale was going on and I called up David and asked him if he wanted to go out and, and so we were going to take some pictures for the show. Uh, David came out with me. We went to a couple of yard sales to stop at Glencoe, and then we stopped in Glencoe. And can't really tell about these pictures here, but in this picture here, you can see a tent, and you can see a tarp that is put out on the ground there. So there was a family that was set up for the yard sale that day. But besides that, it's just a, a quiet day in Glencoe. Looking down the railroad tracks, you can't see any life whatsoever. There's not much in Glencoe, Kentucky. There's a laundry mat, there's a post office, and on the outskirts of town, there's a Dollar General. Uh, but there's also a train that runs through town, and there's kids that live in a house there, and they ride their bikes, and they, they see this train zooming by. Uh, you know, this is 
it's a crossroads, it's a back roads, it's a small town, businesses have left, their people hang on. Um, it's an interesting place, but David really captured for a moment here. What I love about the photography is, is that it, it captures that moment, that, that one moment locked in time. And that moment, um, that's really what life is about. And that's really what sign symbol hopes to be. And that is taking a closer look, letting things slow down, getting out of your car and taking in the, the sights. Thank you so much.